And welcome to All India Bakchod, episode one. Hello, this is uh, Kamba with me <laughs> making the uh, <laughs> gay goli noises. Uh, is uh, Tanmay Bhatt? Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing? You yeah. can't really reply, so fuck you. <laughs> so uh, uh, this is episode uh, number one. Of course, uh, the pilot episode went really well. We got a lot of uh, valuable feedback. feedback. So yeah. thank you everybody who tuned into that show. Yeah, thank, thank you. Sunne ke liye aapka bahut bahut dhanyaad. Exactly. Let's start with uh, the positive feedback. The positive feedback, of course. Uh, people, I say a lot of people t- tweeted to us saying uh, they had good fun. they thought they thought uh, you were very funny and i was okay so yeah. that was nice well you know i'm used to that now yeah, so it's so, okay yeah, 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 what so, else so, uh, oh. fuck, fuck you fuck you so <laughs> uh, so for, i think for that we both deserve, deserve a very hearty applause and here it goes thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you very much you're too you're too kind Uh, Tanmay, but there was also a lot of negative feedback, man. That's right. That's right. One of the one of the biggest uh, negative feedbacks that we got was the editing. People said there was a lot of just blank space. How do you want to re- address this, Kamba? Problem solved. Solved exactly. Thank, yeah. you Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, and the other bad feedback uh, that we got was again was all you just a lot of cussing. <laughs> just a lot of a lot of cussing, and I just think what <laughs> is the. problem, problem with, with people cussing cussing so tumhe problem kya hai yaar ke log jo sunte hai na unki maa ki tumhe na khud download karke sun rahe ho yaar fir tumhe problem hai kya what is wrong with you do log hai sab log i don't fucking understand what the fucking problem is hai na it's just what's the problem with people saying fucking it's my freedom of speech fucking bad tumhe khud samajh nahi aati tum marane aa gaye ho yahan pe log sala sala so anyway <laughs> Oh <laughs> uh, yes no so so yeah we might be uh, hopefully we will cuss a little less hopefully Ho- hopefully uh, that Not fucking sure problem that. Uh, fu- oh fuck fuck sorry so oh Basically. fuck i'm doing it again ha <laughs> ha <laughs> so anyways so yeah cussing hopefully will uh, go down uh, the third and the feedback also was all me kamba yeah, was that there was too much uh, i can't say it giggling like little goats <laughs> You're I doing it again. You're fucking, doing it again. What I can't wrong fucking with help it. I can't fucking help it. People are going to oh. <clears throat> That's how I fucking laugh. That's how I fucking laugh. So Yeah, people thought it was an act and shit. No, it was Who wouldn't want to willingly laugh I'm like, like that. a little girl. Basically. No one would do that. So yeah, I apologize for my really uh, all the pe- pedophiles out there. I am not a child. Uh are I, you I'm sorry for I'm sorry for misleading you. Uh, are you apologizing for being yourself then? I am Is this the society for- <laughs> we live in now? Pathetic. Uh, I'm going to try really masculine, my masculine, masculine, like masculine my voice. Masculine your voice. Like I'm going to be all ha 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 ha. ha, 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 ha. ha, ha, ha. That was that was uh, jo- so funny. My God, uh, it Sip really a, it really cracked me up. Sip a cup of tea as well. Oh yes. Do it. That was lovely. Uh, <laughs> that's right. So uh, so yeah so that uh, that that was a, that was about it that was about it yeah so but anyway again uh, thank you all for tuning, tuning in. in that was uh, awesome and uh, we will now open uh, downloads uh, again so all of you can download it there were some yes. restrictions on our current yes. account um, but, but uh, they will they now, now be, be unlimited yes because so, yeah. we'll be spending some money on this shit finally That's you nice. ungrateful motherfuckers, motherfuckers who don't pay to listen <laughs> <laughs> so yes uh, let's move on Kamba uh, what happened last week uh, I just I'm really sad Tanmay because. Uh, Kim Jong Il the dear leader of North Korea died and because of that the government has imposed a 100 day ban on using cell phones and as a part of mourning it's a war crime man it's a war crime to use a cell phone i think that really sucks for north koreans cuz cuz here's what i think whenever it's it's essentially like being in a lecture okay you're uh-huh. not allowed to use a cell phone and you know how in a lecture you should want to use your cell phone cuz if you're told you aren't allowed to use your cell phone you will fucking want to check your cell phone right and my problem with this with this whole rule of not using a cell phone in north korea is that north koreans anyways have to really struggle to fucking use their cell phone cuz they have to hold their phone so fucking close to their face so they can't <laughs> see anything that's just fucking racist dude so so imagine that's if, racist imagine north Kore- Imagine if they have to fucking use their cell phone discreetly. Yar, thoda to aak khola padega na mention cell dekhne ke liye. It's so unfair. You think the cops are just roaming the street saying, "Why is this guy's eyes open? Why are the guy's eyes, eyes open? open? Why is eyes open?" Oh, he must be doing something so wrong. Really, you've turned him Chinese. You've turned him Chinese. 
So I just have to do this while I did that accent. I just had a very funny visual. Uh-huh. Like Airtel should really capitalize on this whole situation <laughs> in North Korea by just going like, "Ha, ek friend, zaruri hota hai." Like this is just do it. Ting 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 ting. Ha, ek friend, zaruri hota hai. I don't even. I can't even begin to count how many stereotypes you just <laughs> fucking used in that one. That one. Joke. I went for the. I just went all. Like, But the awesome thing with that is that in North Korea, Airtel recharges will be like. One pesa, <laughs> not even like ten bucks. One pesa, one grain of rice. Rice, is, yeah. <laughs> one recharge. So yeah, so uh, so uh, uh, dude, I think it's fucking weird, dude. I don't know what I'd do. Like this would never happen, like in India, unless A Raja died. Then cell phones, cell phones will probably be bad. Probably, probably be bad. Then you'll keep uh, like a cell phone on silent, just as a mark of just as a mark of respect. Respect. For just uh, put it on uh, airplane mode so your entire network goes away, goes away for that ten minutes, and uh, just remember. the contribution of uh, a raja in our society i had to be in north korea on the 101st day like do you think in north korea on the 101st day everyone will be spammed with these santa and banta jokes from fucking north korea <laughs> just phones beeping all day long you know why i don't think that'll happen why because they do not have balance how many times <laughs> do i have to crack the same joke how many times do i have to crack the same joke they what have do, no balance what is the north korean equivalent of santa and banta like jong wang shin chan <laughs> shin chan <laughs> <laughs> no well, actually what will be <coughs> lee and no that is just that just reminds no, me no i know i know what the, i know what the jokes. north korean equivalent of santa and banta is santa and banta <laughs> <laughs> there you go okay i have been just racist so have i been racist enough yet basically i think <laughs> this is this is what's going to happen to us now exactly like we got pissed off at jail i know for making a gold temple <laughs> joke you're going to get a letter from the, the north, north korean, korean embassy saying how can you make fun of our people like that It's okay, but Kim Jong Il is dead, so I don't care. That's true. Have you seen? Have you seen his son, by the way? No, I haven't. His son looks like the kid in. He Ar- owns a son. <laughs> <laughs> he has three sons, by the way. One of whom is homosexual, who had to go, who used to uh, take his passport and illegally go to Japan and shit, and bring electronic goods back to North Korea because they did not have access in the embargo. Can you Fuck. imagine? You remember as a kid? Fuck! It must really suck for him now. Whatever he fucking stole from there, now he can't use because the hundred day mode. Oh, the hundred day mode. Yeah, he just can't. But can you imagine when you, you remember when you were a kid? You had that cool cricket bat, and everybody used to be like, "Oh man, he has that cricket bat." Imagine being like that guy for the entire country. This country. <laughs> That's awesome. You have a stereo. See, yes, the only stereo in North the, Korea. Yeah. <laughs> Father, dearest, please let me use. But uh, Kim Jong Il is awesome, by the way. He had a big crush on Condoleezza Rice. Do you know that? No, I did not. He had an that. entire room. You remember Dar? No, Which... Condi is a rice, and I asked. It totally makes sense. Totally makes sense. Yeah. Actually, no. That fuck, I'm mistaking my leaders. It wasn't. Uh, him. Fuck it. The joke worked well. The joke worked well. It was, it was some, someone in Egypt. Fuck it. He's dead. Someone too. is. He's dead. Too <laughs> he's doesn't dead. matter. Really doesn't matter. Whatever. Huh. So, so what do you say? So that guy has uh, the only fucking stereo in the entire country. Yeah, pretty much. That's, That's the right. end of the joke. I don't have any other <laughs> joke after that. Basically. So moving on. So what else happened uh, apart from North Korea? There's an Indian restaurant owner in England who bought a old fighter jet from the Iraqi Air Force <laughs> just so he could deliver food <laughs> to clients across the world. Weapons of mass distribution. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, <laughs> weapons of mass distribution of what? Paneer tikka, oh, paneer tikka, chicken, chicken tikka, tikka masala. Just so wait, so so one second. So do you know the name of the restaurant? No, yeah, but Sasural. So <laughs> so this it will be like every other British restaurant, which is a uh, British restaurant, which is Indian, which is basically means that it's run by a Bangladeshi pretend Bangladeshi. to be Indian and has yeah. a Taj Mahal photo. Nine pounds and none. Fuck yourself. <laughs> so so yeah. So he bought a fighter jet to deliver food across the world. World, yeah, because he has clients across the world. For example, he delivered food. to the england team when they toured australia that's how popular this guy's food is so basically he knows monty panesar that's basically, what it, basically pretty basically much, that's all pretty much uh but uh, i find this very fascinating because now that i think about it so he's, if he's going to deliver food across the world huh. essentially the experience of having indian food is the same yeah. cuz you'll essentially call him up and saying bhai sahab khana nikla hai ki nahi ha bas nikal gaya madam nikal gaya bas 5 minute mein pahunchta hai abhi bas abhi abhi aata hai ga iraq ke upar hai iraq ke upar hai traffic zyada tha kuch nahi hota log fire kar rahe hain pahunchne wala hoga india aane wala hai but it's actually pretty like can you imagine like this guy has more aircraft than the entire indian air force <laughs> it's a, it's a little sad and if you had like a mic 21 and shit it would just crash on the way then your food will never come bhaiya kahan hai pata nahi main phone kar uske paas cell phone nahi hai na actually uske paas main phone nahi kar raha hoga no but some asshole like you will probably say acha ha khana aa gaya 
अच्छा उसको बोलो ना पीछे जाके एक क्लासिक मार्ट का पैकेट लेके आए रस्ते में उठा लेगा प्लीज लाइक डू थिंक एट सम पॉइंट uh like it's a fucking plane right at the end of the day mm. you think and you know what happens to planes like they, they get hijacked and shit oh they get hijacked and then eventually they crash hmm. into buildings do you know what will happen if the fucking fighter plane <laughs> that's carrying food will crash into a building that I, so it's like ha ah, los yes sir i'm in this i'm at the trade center there are a thousand bodies here and some paneer <laughs> mutter is and i find naan inside someone's plane it's kind of weird that's very dark <laughs> Why are we in such a dark mood today? I have no clue. I think it was because uh, we were stuck in traffic for now. That was just me. That was just you. That was just angry. <laughs> just this angry fucking city makes me angry. Also, why is why did he buy a fighter jet to deliver the food? Are we is the food really in that much of a threat? While of contamination. Of, not contamination. Are any? It's it's fucking food. It's chicken tikka masala. It's not important documents that countries are going to attack. Why must you need guns? Like if you fucking order from say rice bowl, the guy comes on a cycle. He doesn't come on a bike with revolvers and shit to he deliver. He comes. Your... The place is called rice bowl, and he comes on a cycle. Yeah, that's exactly like North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> that's a little sad. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> So tell me your favorite uh, actors in the news again. <laughs> Mr. Meenakshi Sheshadri. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Do you masturbate to Hotan? <coughs> Sometimes on Tuesdays. So <laughs> <laughs> why because uh, that's the only day oh that's the day you're also vegetarian. <laughs> yes. Like Sai Baba Bhakt. And that's the day I touch my meat. So <laughs> So yeah so who's who's in the news? Who's in the news? Oh uh, Tanmay Salman Khan is in the news man. Salman Khan is in the news. Salman Khan is in the news. What is Salman Khan done again? Are you calling him Salman Khan? He, Sal- he's, Salman Khan. He's turned into fish. Oh Priya, so no Priya, <laughs> mere neno, mere ho Priya. What the fuck? <laughs> is some fuck song that? that he sang. Oh remember. god. No, yeah. uh so Salman Khan is in the news. Uh What has he done? Uh you know he's into uh doing a lot of charity like uh, running over people. So he was supporting the entire family just like a uh, <laughs> uh, a good son is supposed Indeed. to have you guys noticed how good Simran and me are trying to talk like Salman yeah i can really not pull off the Salman, Salman accent. accent at all it's okay let's just speak it's like disgusting. Salman Khan and be funny what else yeah. uh so Salman Khan uh, his uh, charitable institution being human being human being human which will, is kind of uh, ironic Salman Khan yeah. Salman Khan is saying being human one day i just want to walk around in a t-shirt that says being a chut but <laughs> <laughs> just one day you have to move to lokanwala <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he has decided uh, to pay the bail money for 400 uh, prisoners in a uh, Uttar Pradesh prison ben chod bodyguard ne itna paisa banaya mere ko malum bhi nahi tha which is ironic he will need 400 bodyguards so he will get them from a up prison where's your fucking accent dude don't sorry forget, don't leave me I, hanging i, I, I forgot <laughs> I got the accent. I can't do the accent at all. <laughs> It's sounding like a girl. Ah, why am I so shrill? <laughs> <laughs> this is a, this is the next feedback we're gonna get. Why are you getting so shrill? But so no, anyways, Salman Khan. Yeah, he's paying the bail money for 400 prisoners, man, in you know, Uttar Pradesh prison. You know, I know Salman Khan will come true to his word, and I know that he will get them out on bail. You know why? One time, I made a commitment. After that, I won't listen to myself <laughs> that's awesome that's awesome ladies and gentlemen salman khan salman khan thank you very much but salman khan why do you think he got those 400 prisoners i think he just missed his friends yeah. <laughs> because uh, he wants to hang out with his homies and just catch up on yeah. some nostalgia you think him and uh, sanjay that are on uh, jail book you know the fir- <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so lame that you know, is so first, i apologize first, ladies and gentlemen my first thought was uh, hmm. he's getting 400 people out of jail i was just like Big Boss has 400 people in it now. <laughs> I just want you to know this when did this start happening? You watch way too much TV. I was just like, oh, so it's basically one dude and Dolly Bindra. <laughs> <laughs> no man. Uh, But the thing with Salman Khan is you must appreciate all his uh, charitable uh, I'm really appreciating your accent right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Huh. This I think this entire segment is just hinged upon <laughs> how well we both do the accent. What are you saying? We must appreciate uh Salman Khan for his charitable institutions he's just so selfless i think uh, he should uh, twit pick all 400 <laughs> of their pictures on his twitter account have you uh, my have biggest you, have you heard of the story where uh, he was uh, i think where was he on daskadam or something uh-huh. where he randomly just like gave away watches to his contestants were, like were they being human watches or just 
I don't know. I think uh, no. There was just. I think I. I don't think being Yemen was popular then. Ah. But the point is, like, if if you are going to use Salman Khan's watch, you're going to be six hours late wherever you go <laughs> in life. <laughs> but the first, I. But it's a little sad. I, I get a little uh, worked up every time uh, random Bollywood celebrities uh, pick issues huh. to support. Because I just think there's just so much of moral cleansing involved. Notice how dark this dark became again. Suddenly. No, sorry, I was. I'm sorry. I, I was still thinking about Salman's watch. Do you think Salman's watch? I'm talking about society <laughs> and fucking getting people. You're no, saying like, watches. This fucking is the intriguing talk. Do you think Salman's watch hmm. has just four numbers on it, and all of them are marked drinking, drinking, Drink, drinking, 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 drinking. <laughs> or does driving? Do? The last one is driving. <laughs> Just drinking, drinking, drinking and driving. Right, so uh, something else very, very funny happened this week. So some Sikh groups, not yeah. Sikh groups, like Sikh groups. Are you white? <laughs> I'm Sikh. We're, I thought we were done with the Salman Khan. Oh, thing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I thought we were still on it. So in, in yes. America, some Sikh groups uh, opposed uh, the Jay Leno joke. First yeah. of all, before, before we move on, what was the joke? Do you remember the joke? Yes, it was a rather sad joke. Uh, yeah. It was about uh, some Republican politician, I forget the name. Romney. And I think I think Mitt Romney, Mitt yes. Romney yeah. And uh, they were talking about uh, Mitt Romney being really rich and living in this palace. And, and then the palace it cut, happened to be. And then it cut to a photograph of the Golden so Temple. So essentially some fucking intern who just googled Golden, Gold, pa- pa- golden like Palace. Rich, rich, rich dude's house. Rich house. Yeah. Shiny house or something like that. Shiny then, house. <laughs> Are you equating uh, the holiest shrine in the Sikh community with uh, that despicable actor <laughs> and these deeds? Are you equating the two? I know, I know this can really offend you. I am already offended. <laughs> As you guys don't know, Khamba is... Uh, <laughs> What is, the, what is the word for this? This is funny to you? <laughs> no, it's not, it's just Do I keep calling you random Hindu man? What the fuck? <laughs> Fat Hindu man, is that what I call you? Disgusting. I'm very offended. I'm sorry I refuse to participate in this segment. So anyway, Kamba. <laughs> yes. Huh. Hmm. So what do you think of it? Well, your people? Yes. Kamba, your people got mad at Jay Leno. Yes. How do you feel about that? The best thing about this story is that the official uh, body that governs the Sikh community why am i calling it sikh now it's fucking despicable <laughs> uh is now going to los angeles to huh. officially protest against awesome. that joke which tells you how desperate my people are to go to the united states <laughs> they just need an <laughs> issue to get a visa and just fuck off to the us jay leno awesome. is probably so glad that he's not doing the show in canada which is a little tr- yeah he would have been dead dead in canada so, so anyway, so hmm. my people have uh, decided to take uh, offense to this act uh, because the thing is that we must follow Hindu footsteps. You know how every time uh, your people get offended every time they put uh, Krishna or Lakshmi on like an underwear <laughs> or a panty or like, uh, you know, Whenever, like slippers an, uh, like and a, shit. Like a painter draws some god naked. Exactly. I've never fucking understood that. Like of all things, huh. why would you th- want to draw a god naked? Because just can't you imagine how big a turn on that is? Like if you are getting like blown by someone with eight hands and shit simultaneously, <laughs> that is the best, that is the best fucking sex you'll ever get. And plus they're riding a tiger and shit. They drop you back home. Fuck, yeah. this is awesome. Come on. This is the best. I would do that too. You're I gonna- would get offended too. <laughs> Like I said last week also we talked about this which is fucking white people they fucking never get offended with this shit. Like do you think every time Shaker Suman did a fuck all Bill Clinton accent <laughs> or just did a joke about Bill Clinton yeah. these Americans got up and said we would like to sue Shaker, Shaker Suman. No because they don't know who the fuck Shaker, <laughs> Shaker Suman, Suman is. <laughs> In fact if you ask most Indians they don't know who the fuck Shaker Suman is. Yeah, so we went into like denial after laughter challenge. <laughs> no he, have you by the way have you not listened to uh, his uh, romantic pop ballad <laughs> album? <laughs> Which one was this? You don't know this after, no. after laughter challenge? Uh-huh. I don't remember Remember, I think it was called Kuch Geet or something. I'm Kuch not sure. Geet. I don't remember. But that was when he waxed his chest <laughs> and uh, rubbed it with oil and wore a semi-transparent uh, pink t-shirt with four Fuck. buttons open like every Fuck. Bollywood celebrity. Adyan's debut really had a bad effect on <laughs> Shaker's life. This is before. So can you imagine when, oh, when the father and the son are competing for the same role? <laughs> 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 and probably both fucking Kangana at the same time. It's disgusting. Oi, Guru! <laughs> <laughs> that's his orgasm voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Hindu watching. Oh, <laughs> that's creepy. Yeah, that is also. That's he creepy. probably jacked me I'm up. I'm involving your people again. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why you're bringing... I can, I can sense a pattern. This is, this is a little sad. I don't know, like this. Yeah. Can you imagine how fucked up it is for Surdis to be able to find people on Facebook? It's ridiculous. You search Gurmeet and there are five... <laughs> Five million, million Gurmeets. This is like our Neha Sharma. 
<laughs> yeah, it's essentially. The, it's the same genetic. How group. fucking weird it must be in bed. Who's your daddy? Gurmeet. Meet. No, no, that's you. <laughs> Who's <laughs> your daddy? <laughs> Gurmeet. No, fuck you. Why are you taking your name, you narcissistic bitch? And they still call their kid Gurmeet. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is how much they love. What happened with me was uh, Gursimran A and Gursimran B. <laughs> One sec, one sec. So your your family gave birth to an audio cassette. <laughs> I wish. So there why would a, I wish that? That's so a fucking <laughs> stupid reaction to that statement. What the fuck is that? Now we're going to introduce a new segment, which is just to track the most random, fucked up event that happened the last week, and we're calling it Bakchod of the Week. So this week, uh, the Bakchod of the week is Manmohan Singh, Singh joining, joining Twitter. Twitter. At the rate PM PMO India is his handle. And I can personally say I am extremely happy to see him online. At the rate PMS is the BJP account. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That's Bakchod number five. So Manmohan Singh joined Twitter. Primarily because I think... He doesn't have an option. Sin, yeah. If Manmohan Singh can't join Facebook because to join Facebook, you need friends. <laughs> <laughs> so, Manmohan is going to stick with Twitter. Why do you think that, man? Uh, because of this. I have a commitment to one thing. I don't to myself. Bakcho number four. So, Kamar, did you hear about this Poonam Pandey? Yeah, Poonam Pandey sent Manmohan Singh and I thought this was fabulous. As soon as she found out he joined, she sent him a photograph of hers <laughs> in a two-piece, <laughs> two-piece bikini. Which is awesome because now the only visual I have in my head is Manmohan Singh masturbating to her twit pic. Just going, Sonia, Sonia, I don't need you anymore. Dardi rub rub is happening right now. Oh, rubbing. Oh, Baba. Support us. Oh, Rahul. Vote of confidence. Nuclear. Just random. Bacho number three. So if you've, if you've seen the Twitter account of the Prime Minister's office, you'll see that he has a bunch of pictures <laughs> with all these national award winners, winners. Thai Prime Minister, Mr. Nigerian fucking, like, Prime Minister and midgets shit. Midgets of the week and shit. Just <laughs> random pictures. Which, by the way, Khamba, you should know this is the first time that Asori has uploaded pictures on Twitter, which is not with a hammer. <laughs> Bacho number two. This is, by the way, uh, this is the first time that two prominent surdies are two on Twitter. Two prominent surdies. So, and, and you can do a direct comparison, comparison between the two. You have, on one hand, Manmohan Singh, who's the Prime Minister. And on the other hand, you have Harbhajan Singh. Singh. Premier <laughs> spin <laughs> legend and a representative of my people. Have you have you seen his Twitter timeline? I kid you not, Harb- I, saw, I saw this one. Okay, Harbhajan Singh put up a picture of him with his hammer. And the tweet was, sexy. <laughs> Just that, sexy. Which I think, don't mock that, yeah. <laughs> Come on, that's just my people, please. Sexy people. <laughs> but but show number one. one. So another exciting news was that in 2014, if Rahul Gandhi feels that he's not ready to be prime minister, they might get Nandan Nilakani. So now, if you compare the two most prominent surdies on Twitter, on one hand you have Manmohan Singh, on the other hand you have Harbhajan Singh. That's and basically, right. both of them are out of work <laughs> and going to be replaced by South Indians. That's how sad it's become. By the way, on a personal note, I want to end this on a personal note. The first time I went to Kerala, this is when I was in high school huh. and I uh, still had a turban. And this three-year-old kid on a tricycle came, stopped, looked at me, pointed at my head and said, Hey, Harbhajan! <laughs> True story. Oh, fuck. What are you saying? Bhenchot Ganmara. Did you then uh, just uh, fall down and get dropped? <laughs> <laughs> Bad one. So <laughs> Don't make fun, please. Sorry. That's all from Bakcha of the Week! All right, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of another podcast of All India Bakchod. It was fun, Tanmay. It, 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 it was quite fun. It was quite fun. It was, it was quite fun. Uh, Salman would like to thank everyone involved in this project. Except. <laughs> Except Sohail and Abbas, because I don't give a fuck. 
<laughs> right so this was this is the end of the episode uh, kamba how are you feeling are you feeling good yeah i'm feeling good uh, just uh, to talk about the uh, few shows that are coming up uh, which you can make it for uh, on the 4th of feb uh, tanmay you're performing why don't you talk about that i am performing at uh, costa coffee in bangalore at kormang kormangla costa coffee in bangalore do come for it it's a great gig i like i did the one in delhi and it was great so do come i know it's a little odd uh, gig in uh, costa but lovely seating and it's just a like super venue to come so check me out on the 4th yeah and on the 5th uh, me and tanmay will also be in pune that's right uh, we're doing a charity gig uh, for this organization called sparsh balgram uh, the money that is raised uh, will go for uh, making a center for children with hiv uh, that's that's going to happen at the acharya atre rangmandir in pimpri pune that's and right. the show starts at 5:30 to 7:30 so make yes. sure uh you get your and tickets for tickets that are, a lot of tickets are already sold out so do get your tickets yeah quickly. that's a that's a big auditorium so yeah. a lot of tickets are already sold out there still might be a few left so just yeah. check that out fans of khamba everywhere ladies and gentlemen so anyway well, what can i say <laughs> <laughs> so right, that's it for this week uh, like like last week do uh, if you heard the whole part, podcast uh, do give us feedback Yeah. Uh, do leave a comment. Uh, uh, do tweet to us. It's at the rate All India Bakshod. We have an email ID as well. Yeah, which all is All India Bakshod at gmail dot com. com. Please feel free to send us uh, feedback, uh, naked pictures, uh, whatever, whatever you want, whatever you want. If you're Poonam Pandey, <laughs> <laughs> we we're, we're waiting. I can change my handle to PM. Never mind. <laughs> right. So see you guys. See you guys. See, see you guys you. next week. Hopefully. See you by Q Music. <laughs>